big of a conflict that was. It only lasted three years, and it's especially relevant today. What threat are we dealing with right now? Yeah. Little Kim. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Little Kim. That's right. Not the rapper, thank goodness, right? Kim Jong Ding Dong. Kim Jong Ding Dong. So he is seriously causing complete, I mean, just utter danger over there for the Chinese, for the Japanese, for the Filipinos, for the complete group of, you know, islands that surround that area, all of Asia, for the United States bases and servicemen that are there, all of our allies. Kim Jong Un is making a huge problem again in Korea. And thank goodness we have a president who is willing to stand up and honor these guys who actually fought to a standstill. Because what happened in Korea, if y'all didn't know, when we jumped in, especially for the young folks here, right? I'm 29 and I'll, I'll be the first to admit I had to look up some information on the Korean War. Because I love, and I've studied the World War II, the Korean War is not as well known, right? We had literally, in the first couple of years, we made it all the way up. We captured their capital. We were working our way up to the northernmost border of North Korea. We had, we were winning. It was almost over. And then Russia and China coordinated hundreds of thousands of Chinese troops pouring over the border. And that's what pushed us back down to where the North Korean and South Korean DMZ is now. And so were it not for, you know, the communist axis that existed over there uniting against America, we would have fought them out of Korea. That would have been done. But we got outnumbered, essentially. And so if you look at uh, his approach, Trump's approach to Korea, I think it's correct. There's some people who are in the media going, oh, he sounds just like Kim Jong-un. That's the most insulting thing you could call a U.S. president. This guy is talking seriously to a completely insane person in North Korea where Trump, he sees what he deals with, and he says plainly, very plain English, and very you know straightforward, hellfire, fury, you make one misstep, we're coming to get you. You know, and to me, hats off to Trump. You know, hats yeah. off to Trump. All right. That's how you deal with bullies. That's right. <laughs> Reagan was a great example. Reagan, although I didn't like his amnesty policies, no. how he dealt with I didn't Libya. like that, but the way that he dealt with Russia was a good example. How dare the media in this country turn on our president and talk about how he's just like some dictator. Bill Mayer, I think, was on TV last night going, I'm more worried about us becoming North Korea than them bombing us. I said that, you know, I draw the line at, at some point, and to me, that's that's really it. You know, you're sitting there and you're insulting the people who fought in Korea. You're insulting every veteran, everybody in the military, every voter for Trump. All of us are offended by that. So let's not offend veterans. Let's support them. You come see this. It's probably one of the you know most beautiful monuments that we have here, and I think that it's kind of tucked away in here, so not enough people come see it. But come do it. All right. So uh, yeah, go ahead.